Hey, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit audio or sound straight within Premiere Pro and how to, especially like music, how to cut it properly, how to shorten a track if, if you've got a track that's too long instead of just fading out at the end. Uh, and I'm going to show you how you can do that easily within Premiere Pro without having to go off to other um, software to be able to do that. So let's jump right in. So this is a track called Cielo that I've downloaded from the uh, YouTube music library, which is a fantastic resource, by the way, if you want to go there for um, for copyright free uh, Creative Commons music, it's, it's fantastic. So this audio is four by four. It's got a pretty solid beat. Although in the beginning, it's it's kind of a little teaser, like a little intro bit, which hasn't got a solid beat. So I'll just play it and you can listen to this. So you can you can even see in the waveform there that it's in it's in blocks, but what I'm going to show you how to do is how to know where to cut basically. So in this intro part, if you just scroll up on this part here, it'll magnify these waveforms so that you'll really see what you're actually looking at. You can actually see the sound that way. It's kind of cool. Um, let's say that we want to cut this in half, but we don't just want to say, all right, well that looks like it's about half, so I'll cut it you want to cut it accurately. Well, if you listen to it and you count four, so one, two, three, four. When you get to five, that's when your, your new bar is starting. And here is where that peak is starting, which means that is the new section of music. Now, this might seem really obvious to you, but you can't imagine how many clips I've seen where whoever edited it just had no clue what they were doing with audio. So if you're someone who hasn't got a clue how to use audio, pay attention because this is, it's going to increase the quality of your edits just a ridiculous amount. So what to listen for when you're trying to find exactly what frame that beat is falling on? Well, This build up here, you can hear it. It's a slightly sharper pitched sound. It's going like that. It's the same with a beat. You'll normally feel you'll you normally have a, a click or something, which acts as an indicator of that's when sound is about to go. That's where you want your frame to start. So what I'm going to do is do Command or Control K to slice this clip right where the playhead is. Okay, then I'm going to come back along here, and now obviously this is where the drums come in. You can see there's a huge peak in amplitude there, so let's just listen to it there. Boom, right there. So if I scrub along just with the arrow keys, there you can hear, there's the click, which means the next frame, it drops. Do you hear that click? That click, right there. Okay, so again, Command K. Okay, get rid of that section there. In fact, because I've got nothing else, I can do Alt Backspace. Okay, and that'll fill it in. And now, in theory, this should play and sync perfectly. Cool. Now, I only need 10 seconds before whatever, you know, transition goes on. So actually, I want the song to finish there. Now, instead of just like cutting it here and doing a cross dissolve and just letting that. Instead of doing that, because I kind of feel like that's that's really lame, um, what I'm going to do is cut on the beat here, so find the beat that I want to cut on. There we go. 
Now, if you look, if I zoom in here with the uh, plus and minus, you can see that little peak there. That's, again, it's the start of the beat. So, right there, I'm gonna cut. Okay, and then I'm gonna head all the way to the end, to the last beat, and let's have a listen to the end. So, if it goes, that there is where that beat would be. Because if you count it, one, two, bang. So it's right there. Okay. So now if we zoom out, all the way out, let's just delete that whole middle section and drag this right up. Now, the tail end is just touching that beginning bit. I haven't done any cross dissolving or anything yet, but sometimes you might need to just between the clips to smooth it out a bit because you might get a click. But let's have a listen to this. So I don't know if you heard that click there. Click right there. To avoid that, just do a little cross dissolve. You do Shift Command or Shift Control D on the cut. Let's just Shorten this little cross dissolve all the way down to like three frames. And now, if I zoom out, there you go. You got no click. It's a nice clean cut. It's just, it makes a world of difference when you're trying to put a video together, especially if, if you're doing this for a client. You cannot afford to be fading out at the end unless they've specifically asked for that. It's just not, it's not on. All right, I hope that was helpful. As always, thanks for stopping by and uh, hit that subscribe button down there.